Hello, thanks for joining us. This is Platform on the Network Service of the NTA. I'm Ruth Aguela. Nigeria, we know, is faced with various security challenges. From kidnapping to insurgency, almost every corner of the country has been hit by one form of violence or the other. But as government continue to put efforts in tackling confronting challenges, um, security challenges, with unrelentless efforts of security agencies in restoring peace across the country, more support is required, of course. Now, this is where the Nigerian Hunter Council comes in, a body that has taken it upon itself to complement efforts of security agencies in combating and eradicating the rising cases of insecurity and other forms of crime in the country, especially especially at the community level. We have heard of some of the successes the members have recorded in combating crime since they work closely with security agencies. But one salient question, should the Nigerian Hunter Council be incorporated into the security architecture of the country as a standing law, a bill they have been pushing for since 2020? When there is a legal backing, will that help in strengthening its capacity to do more? And how much attention has been given to these hunters in their efforts to combat crime? On platform today, we will be looking at the role of hunters in combating crime in Nigeria. And our guest is the Commander General, Nigerian Hunter Council, Joshua Wale Oshametin. Osh Mehi. I beg your pardon. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for joining us on platform. You're welcome, man. We're pleased to have you here. And uh, we have a panelist, as usual, join us on the platform. That is Lara Ba Mure. She's from the Abuja Inquiry newspaper. Thank you, Lara Ba, for Thank joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, just before we meet our guests, we engage him in our conversation. Let's take you through just a bit of his profile. Um, Oshati Mehi attended Apostolic Primary School on Ruekiti in Ekiti State Community Grammar School. Same place from Ekiti State. He obtained his BSc in Microbiology from the University of Ibadan, or your state. He also obtained his MSc in Security and Strategic Studies from Nasarawa State University, Kefi. He is an ambassador of peace, fellow members of Forensic Security Studies, and presently the Commander General, Nadra Hunter Council. Thank you, CG, for joining us once again. You're welcome, man. Thank you. We're pleased to have you. You know what I find fascinating? Mm. This is the first time I'm going to be seeing a hunter, you know, fully kitted. <laughs> We're used to seeing hunters growing up. Laraba, you agree with me? Sure. We're used to seeing hunters growing up, you know, with our, um, their, what do they call their it? Stick. Their stick, you know, their arrow and yeah. all of that. The all the tools gone. required. Yes. yes, but this is new. This is brand, um, this is brand new. Hunter. Yes, rebranded hunter. <laughs> and that's more like it. So, um, tell us. It's the the hunter council has been in existence for about two years or more if i'm correct yes okay so how far how is it like yeah. uh, good afternoon our listener and uh, the the leadership of NTA is an honor to be here once, ag once again i'm ambassador joshua Shatime, the commander of the hunter council to the glory of god nigeria hunter council was registered few years ago. And then there was a bomb blast in Adamawa 2016. Mm. And I was watching NTA and people are now providing solutions to the domestic security. And uh, one of the topical issues mentioned, they mentioned Alta because they know the terry, where presence is no sacrament of the country, most usually in our local society. And I pick up the word. I wrote a letter then to National Security Advisor, and they replied that uh, we want to complement the effort of Nigeria police and other conventional security. Okay. And uh, to the glory of God, they replied my letter that uh, is it is a timely initiative if we are properly coordinated. And uh, I now met with him, he said, we are not registered. So I took it upon myself, because then I was writing my thesis as MSc student, security and strategy study. Mm. And, I saw, and uh, luckily for me, I work in domestic security as mm. part of my project. And 
we wrote to CAC Corporate Affairs Commission the, for official registration. We got it registered 2018 mm. as Niger community hunter uh, of Nigeria. And uh, I now approach the House of Rep through Committee National Security and Intelligence, House of Rep, under the leadership of Sani Aminu Jaji from Kara Namada. Okay. That's a Sanfara state. Okay. And they said, wow, this is great. This is the first time that uh, Outer will be seeking for a bill that mm. will give us a legal backing. I see that as a very bold move. Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, we'll get to that, but go ahead. Yes, sir. At the same time, I went for that, and he told me that uh, they are the two at the tail end of the Eighth Assembly, their tenure, that first reading bill cannot be presented in the floor of the House. Assuming it was a year ago. And immediately after the inauguration of the Ninth Assembly, this present Senate, I wrote a letter to Nigeria Senate that we want to complement the effort of police, the DSS, and the Army, most especially in the forest. Because in most cases, when I stated the reason, that whenever our people look, get in touch with this criminal in the forest, they will ask us, who are we? Because there is no legal backing that support our mode of operation. Yes, but over time, you have still been able to do your job, yes, sir. even without the legal backing. We know it's, it, has, it has gotten to the third reading, yes, it has sir. passed third reading, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh, that's this year. Um, you've been able to still record successes. You've been able to collaborate. Enormous with, sources. Uh -huh, you've been able to collaborate with security agencies. Yes. So that is where we want to know. We want Nigerians to hear about your efforts, okay. hear about your first-hand okay. you know, experiences. That's what we want yes, to sir. hear. To the, yes, sir. To the glory of God, okay. we have been able to partner with police. Okay. We started after the, the our bill was referred to the commission. Committee on Interior under the leadership of uh, Kashim Shetima, the former governor of Bono State. Okay. And they say, wow, this is a great development. And I want to tell you, I've measured it. We have secured our third reading. And during the public hearing, one of the senators said, this bill is long overdue. That any time he goes home, he go with Hunter because he really believes in us. Mm. The man is from Akwaibo. This year alone, we have done our annual record. We have recorded 287 sources hmm. of rescue uh, the victim of kidnapping hmm. from kidnappers. And a lot of and other, other level of crimes and criminality we are able to avert okay. from a uh, bandit. Hmm. Because you agree with me, that uh, forest has become a safe haven for these evil people to perpetrate their evils. And because we know the terrain, this has given us edge over them. Mm -hmm. And I want to use this opportunity to thank the level of collaboration we have received from the leadership of police. This year alone, we are able to, we are trained by Nigeria police mm -hmm. in nine police training schools. We have visited Owanune, that is in Benue. We have visited Nowatai, that is River State, Nekede, Inimo State, uh, Ikeja, that is Lagos. We have, went, we have gone to Baushi. We have went to Kano Police College, Kaduna Police College, to train our officer in lieu of managing security and security challenges okay. for grassroots transformation in our local communities. Okay, so still on the training, I understand that you said you've been to several states, but what I want to understand is that um, these uh, bandits are people that we say they come from other states. And then, to be honest, like what my uh, uh, colleague said, you are actually a refined version of uh, hunters that we know growing up. How do you select those members of your team? Because even the ones I've seen, I see they are also refined. 
but we still have the ones that carry the dengons, the 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 skin, the hide, you know, on their bodies. How do you select them? And then the continuous training. Yes. How do you do the capacity building? Thank you, madam. When I remember when we wrote to Haiji, okay. seeking for approval for our men to be trained under their leadership. Hmm. And the IG refer our letter to AIG training and development. Mm -hmm. And AIG said, even at AIG level, is he go for training? Because in in policing, training and retraining being perfection. You let me change our orientation. Our the hunter that we have now mm -hmm. is no more hunting for Hanima. Mm -hmm. We hunt for the criminals in the forest. Hmm. Okay. We are not hunting for animal. We are hunting for the giant animal, which are the criminals, okay. to eradicate crimes and criminality in our society. So why the digression from what we know you for, from the animal hunting? Why the digression to the um, bigger? No, yes, when I remember when I visited the Emir, the Lamido of Adamawa, Mm -hmm. To present him the one of our as a one of our patron, we gave him patronship certificate. He said, "Wow, that I salute our courage." Mm -hmm. That time from, from time memorial, the roles of hunter is for security. Okay. That one hunter can secure the old Jimeta Adamawa State. Okay. If you look at traditional hunter, they are the local traditional uh, security personnel. From the time memorial, mm -hmm. he now said that the Nigeria have neglected the traditional source of s security. Mm -hmm. That is why we are having this issue. Mm -hmm. And let me use this opportunity to thank Mr. President for his giant tries in tackling security issues. Mm -hmm. Because you all believe with me, this is an inherited battle mm -hmm. from the previous government, and he have done all he could to make sure that uh, Nigeria regain is a security standard globally. And as a not not state actors, this is time for us to change our orientation. Okay. Yeah, we 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 can say okay we hunt for animals, but we when we have cow, ten cows a kid for us to eat, if there's no peace you can't eat, I can eat. Of course. Security Peace must be forced in the society. Mm -hmm. And the way we have volunteered ourselves as not a sector to support the conventional security, the consulted authority, to support the federal government. Okay. Laraba asked a question earlier about how you select your personnel. Uh, because we still have those ones who carry the din guns, like she said. So how do you select the ones who will be incorporated into the council? Um, what how we, do you select? Them? Yeah, what we normally do, we believe that uh, as a hunter, we, you must know your your area, mm -hmm. and uh, we approach the village head, okay. the traditional council, mm -hmm. because they are the custodian of domestic security. Mm -hmm. As a as a traditional ruler, naturally you are the closest person to the community. The day you don't eat, the day your wife did not cook for you, all everything will be given to the body is on the traditional ruler. So anytime we want to select our member, there's a column that the DP of that local government, of that division that we sign, mm -hmm. the DSS we sign, mm -hmm. and the either the king, okay. the emir in Nausa, the court emir, Eze in Igbo, uh, Hoba in Yoruba, there's a column that they must sign to attest to your character. Okay. You see, do you have uh, questionable credentials or doubtful integrity? So if your name, if the king cannot attest to it, we will not be treated. It's after we have done our collection data, we now profile you and we have it in our database. You know why I asked that question again? Um, when, they, when we want to look at the area of discipline, I know that they are being trained when it comes to corporate safety and um, conservation and all of that by the security forces. Yes, yes. But when you're selecting them, because you, you the council cuts across the 36 states. Including FCT. And the FCT. Yes. So 
you have to be very critical in your selection. The area of discipline. So that rights of community, because they operate at the community level, yes. so that rights of citizens are not trampled on. That's why I'm asking that question. So mm. what can you tell us in the area of discipline of your members? Okay. Uh, thank you, Ma. To the glory of God, I told you that we have done two three training this year. Mm. And uh, we have done national training. We ended that one in October. Our middle middle year training was done in May. The first quarter of the year was done in April. All these things were done with the lectures from police, DSS on intelligence gathering, understanding of national security, and how to gather intelligence and give to the agency. Okay. Anywhere we I have opportunity to talk to my men, apart from training, our watchword is discipline. It's anybody who wants to discipline or that must be disciplined. Mm. You have to discipline yourself. That is why there is room for training now the training. And even in policing, in army, they are they are the master of discipline. They are still going for training. Yes. And as I'm talking to you now, we have written a letter to army a chief of army uh, uh, to director general of uh, army resource center in Mitam in Asokoro. They, they called me and directed my letter to training department Army Ekota. That will constitute our force, as in first year training by next year. Because we want to be trained and understand the scope of national security and, and the discipline. So we have undergone a series of training from police, from the military, and from the uh, civil defense. Okay, civil defense have three colleges in the country. The one in Castina, who are there this February. The one in Abuja, Dasuka, who are there in Abiokuta. And police have, police have a 15 training school, three colleges, and one institute. We have visited all these places since 2016 uh, I got this uh, mandate. And to the glory of God, we have been able to see the result. And uh, to attest to it, many governors have been of I'll be supportive hmm. to this uh, to this uh, initiative. Because I was going to ask you that if you're going to work even at the community level, you need the support of the, of the state governors. Yes, sir. Um, so tell us about the synergy. Yeah, we we are having one-on-one -on -one synergy with the, some state governors, mm -hmm. like uh, the governor of Baoshi State, Kaura, hmm. is one of our patron. This May, I was one that received five losses and one coastal bus to support the organization. Even day before yesterday, two days ago, the governor of Cross River, Ayade, gave one uh, 2014 uh, Kia to our command in Cross River State. Mm. Uh, the office we are using in uh, Kogi State today is Yayabelo that is Spain since 2018, to the glory of God. And uh, two, three months ago, he gave us one Elos and two Siena buses. Because he said, Joshua, I, said, I was with him in his house a uh, few weeks ago. It's not even, uh, that's 28th of November, in his house in Asokoro. He said, The reason why he loved this our organization, he said, Sometime, your men in Kogi State who rescue, this is the way uh, the language you use, rescue. A security agency agent from kidnappers, not citizen. Hmm. Because there was a time they kidnapped uh, one of his local government chairman, hmm. and uh, the is oddly, we are the one that rescued them or not. And the last sum of 70 million demanded, no, no dam was paid. Wow. And he built three bedroom flat for the chairman of one time in Kogi State. He's, he's one paying our rent in uh, this thing. And let me announce to you, to the glory of God, our headquarters, we are moving to our uh, headquarters by January. We bought it at five million era. And some of the governor have killed into it to pay for it. We just finished the payment. We are living in plaza. When the governor, some governor have approached me, that how do we fund? I said, all oh, this thing is a personal initiative that where is your office? We are using a plaza. They came into it, we were able to purchase our building. 
in uh, 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 Sunnyvale Estate. That's our new, uh, this, uh, we are inaugurating it. Writing to IG, national security, by January will commission it officially. Just before Laraba comes in, because I know she's itching to ask a follow-up question, um, you just mentioned the issue of funding, which is very important, because a lot of your members, or every, the council itself, is a voluntary um, body. Uh, how do you fund yourselves? How do you fund your mm. activities? How do you pay? Because it's now a body. Yeah. Your members now wear uniform, so and they're no longer hunting for animals that the normal, we the are usual for hunt. Criminals. Uh -huh, it's criminal. So who is paying the bills? Because then we know when hunters hunt for animals, they sell it and get you know something for themselves. So now you're hunting for criminals. Who's going to pay your bills? Yeah. To the glory of God, you have said it earlier that. Discipline. Discipline in everything. Not only, I do tell our people that you are not in another group or Nigeria Auto Council to become a millionaire. You are here to render services to humanity mm. and to support the government of the day. That is to support President Muhammad Buhari to succeed. You know, when you have discipline, you'll be contempted. I told them, Civil defense begin like us. They began like this. Today, they are on salary. Either we are paid, we are not paid, we are certified. For now? For now. Okay. And uh, some of our people, because I wore my uniform like this to National Assembly this year when we were doing our public hearing. And I wanted to get money from uh, FCMB. The bank manager said, okay, which can you know? I say, out I say, wow, he'll be hearing of that name. He wants to see me. He said, I should bring a proposal. They disengage all the security in their estate. That they know that anywhere on the work, they're highly professional. No criminal. Because when you hear on the, the bandit will run away. They make sure that they collected our men. And those are the little, little proceeds. Okay. We give them. Maybe they gave us uh, 20,000, 25,000 naira. We told them, please manage it for now. If tomorrow, by God's grace, our organization is commissioned, definitely we enjoy just like the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is this thing in, uh, when we are in university, the same way you perspire to acquire what you desire. Mm -hmm. You don't need to retire, you retire. Mm -hmm. Many people started <laughs> the Nigeria we are enjoying today. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alex Requeme say something when he was interviewed during his 70th birthday. Mm. This is somebody who was a vice president, and he was a seventh degree, four master degree. He never mentioned those days. They say it's appears, he said, that was when Nigeria got her independent. I said, wow. They now, what fascinating, he said, because I'm one of the struggle, one of the people that have contributed to it. Because if they have not Labor for Nigeria. They cannot be Nigeria president and the governors and the senators. So if Nigeria is not peaceful, it will affect you to affect me. Even if you have billions or millions, you will yes. be able to move around. Yes. So this is where I volunteer ourselves to make sure we restore the dignity of this country in terms of freeing the, norm, the populace from crimes and criminalities. Okay, I'll soon um, uh, take us back to search and rescue you know you mentioned okay my colleague mentioned um, that how you want a bill and then with the bill you without the bill you're still um, working you're still working then how do you go about apprehending those um, how do you do your rescue like uh, citing the example of the 70 million um, ransom that wasn't paid how do you how do you reconcile with the government agencies now that you say that yes i understand ma let me tell you something and say we want to deceive ourselves okay i'm from ekiti state this auntie is not from ekiti as soon as i see his uh, his face i know it's not from there mm -hmm. when you enter my town and as a member of nigeria Water council we have been taught by different security agents. And we as a professional in local hunting, we know the theory. Mm. 
we know the nooks and crannies of the of our forest. Hmm. So there is interconnectivity of operation. Two days ago, are you aware that uh, the mother to the chief of staff of Yayabelo was kidnapped? Immediately called my commander. Monday, he called our counter terrorism department. He's also from uh, Assan and we cover today. Three of them, they are in the bush. Hmm. Immediately, when we know the forest they took her to, we call our, these people from Kwara, Niger, all this Rafiria. They are now in operation. And because I'm on here, you will see the result very soon. Hmm. So there is uh, interconnectivity of operation. Hmm. We know the terrain, and we know how we communicate. It's part of the local a traditional way of hunting for animals and criminals. Hmm, I like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you work very closely with community members. And uh, let's look at the area of information gathering. You, your work cannot be complete without getting the right information, even from the community members. Um, how do you go about that? We're not saying you should tell us exactly how you do it, but what is the level of cooperation? Mm, to the glory of God, we have different departments. Mm. That is why we have surveillance unit, we have intelligence unit. You see me now, whenever you see me on uniform, you can be threatened. But if I'm on suit, you think I'm part of you, we get our information. We can disguise. Mm. You do what I sometimes say. So we have surveillance unit in all the 774 local governments in Nigeria. We have intelligence unit that work hand in hand with the constituted agency. Remember, we are yet to be constituted mm. because we are still seeking for the final approval. But as a result of our training and retraining, we know that anything, anybody we apprehend, we have to immediately refer them to police or appropriate agency for the normal uh, treatment. So that's what we do. You know, I can't go further because we are there. But we know how we do our... If, for example, they say somebody was kidnapping now in uh, in the Kitty State, by the time we call Quara, the neighboring state, there will be joint operation. And the way we communicate, there will be... There are a lot of times uh, that you see criminal after they have demanded for 20, 30 million, by the time they know signal they have been surrounded, they will leave the kidnap victim and run away hmm. because they know there's no way they can escape Inter interconnectivity. And you are agreement. Police does not enter bush. Neither Hami or DSS. We are the one that know the terror. You remember this August when uh, one general was assassinated along Koto Karufi? Hmm. More than 500 Hami were deployed to Koto. They could not enter forest. His Hassan, our ACG counter-terrorism, and our commander counter-terrorism, that's Baturi, that led the way mm. before they could apprehend the perpetrator. Okay, is it right then to say that um, instead of the, the clamor for community policing, instead of um, bringing in other groups to be like community policing, is it right to say that the Hunters Council should be adopted as the community police? Because from what you're saying with the terrain at the community level, you seem to have more knowledge than um, the persons, than the police or the army. Uh, just to add to that, and with all due respect, talking about the knowledge aspect, our security agencies are well knowledgeable too. Um, the, the bill you're seeking to be passed into law also provides for community policing. So could she be okay, saying the right know, thing? You know, when we are saying community policing, it's a complex word. It's very diverse. Mm. We have unit security that accumulate to local government security. Are we? Mm. Unit to what? What to local government? before we talk about state security and national security. If there are, for example, there are broken home, it will reflect on the children outside. For example, as a father, I'm beating my wife. 
whenever my soul goes out, he believed that is normal norms. Yes. But if all those things is being curtailed, mm. you see the productivity of the children outside. Mm. If, what we mean by community policy? If our villages, the society, and the forests are well secured, where will the criminal live? Who are the perpetrators? Are they not living in the forest? Mm. When you are going from uh, Mexico to America, mm. there is this group called Forest Masha. Because if you want to have, uh, avert any arrest in America, whatever you want, but they believe that the whole forest is being teleguarded by Forest Masha. When you are living from uh, Canada to America, the same thing. So if Onta can be empowered by law and under a constitution that regulates the council, I remember that I told you that uh, this Onta council was registered mm -hmm. as Community Onta mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It was when the first reading, second reading, they now expunge the group and replace it by a council and a board, a regulatory board, okay. that a council should be in form of governing board, gov mm. regulatory body. Mm. So that's what gave back to Nigeria on that council. Are you getting my, my yeah. point, Ma? So if, the, if our Nigeria uh, forest is properly police, well police, there will be no crimes and criminality. Mm. Because when I kidnap in the town, I take it to the bush. Take it to the bushes and the forest. But by the time that uh, this have been inhabited by a hunter, which have the enabling law. I believe uh, one of our patron, mm. Major Dr. Musafa, the former CSO to Abasha, he said this bill is a good initiative. And he told me a series of experience when he was in army that if Hunter can be empowered and give us our own special rifle, he makes sure the rifle, because when you look at DSS, mm. the rifle is different from police. Yeah, because I was going to ask you how you, I don't, I'm not sure if you can let out that information. You carry, aside den guns now, I don't know the kind of weapon you carry now yeah, with we, your uniform. Yeah, we carry den gun. Just den guns yeah, for now? Yeah, we carry them because okay. as a good abiding citizen, mm. we need to abide by the law. Okay. But when fully we are fully regulated, mm. definitely federal government will support us. Definitely, you know, you can't hunt for criminal with mouth. That is what one the police officer told us. Mm. But sometime in Yobe, for example, and Baoshi, whenever we are going for operation, they call on to lead the way. Sometimes they even give us our their own uh, weapons and uh, their AK-47, okay. they register it. When we finish the operation, we submit back to the armory. Okay. okay. Because we are not by law empowered to carry more than they go for now. Okay, but you've been trained when the security agencies train your personnel, they train them how to use those weapons. Yeah, yeah, they train okay. us. Okay, okay. They train our men. Okay. And let me tell you, some. it's not that maybe a political statement. There are some states in this country Police have done so much where to curtail crimes and criminality. Mm. They are also women, but they have been stressed. I remember when we were containing, we are debating on uh, the issue of Hunter during the public hearing. One man from the uh, ministry said, there's no money. And the chairman of the committee, that's Kashim Shetima, he said, don't say so, that in Egypt, they have uh, less than 100 million population, but they have up to 2, 3 million security personnel. But Nigeria is more than 200 million. We have less than 500 come together. Mm -hmm. So police, police have done so much where they are being oh, stretched. So they need for some information from the volunteers. But if we have been in power today, there will be sharing of ideas, connectivity of operation, yes. so that we can get a better result for to secure our... So, sir, so if I get you, you're saying that the council has the manpower 
to complement the efforts of, uh, of the, the Nigeria of police, police yes. across the 36, the, the 36 state of the, yes, states of the Federation. Um, thank you. I was going to ask um, back to is there not is it is there not going to be how do you make of um your 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 contact with the bandits in the in the bushes when you come in contact with them and they question your authority who uh who you are that was what you said that they ask you who you are to arrest them then does it mean that they are they are they are they are working on an authority that is beyond yours because it, it sounds, it sounds to uh, me. No, I, I really let me help okay. you out, madam. You know, in that case, I'm on here. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. But illegality in Nigeria is illegality anywhere. Hmm. Legal in Nigeria is legal anywhere. When you are being empowered by law, it will, is a sign of motivation. Okay. It will motivate you more to do more for your country. There was a time, any time, we, are, we want to go on operation in one state. The agency will tell us we should consult, we should consult them. Any time we go in that local government, it's going to be fruitless operation. Until I went back to first headquarters. AIG now told me that any time we want to go, we should collect letter from me. We should not go to that DPO. The last time we went there, we apprehended 19 kidnappers. That means any time we have been going, there is no result. There are some forced information from that command of that uh, DC to the criminals. I don't know if you are getting my hmm. point. But assuming we are fully empowered, we will know that, okay, even though we can go on operation by ourselves, I will return back to police for documentation. Hmm. That's a, that is what I stand for. I don't want to be quoted because we. I, because I, w I want to say you that that's like more like an allegation, so to say. But yes. let's leave it at that. Um, when you want to carry out an operation and you have to work with security agencies to you know push for it, at the end of the day, um, what is the body language of the community people? You know, with your presence. I know these members, the hunters, they are part of the community. Um, what is the community, since you operate at that community level, what is their body language to this whole initiative? What are they saying? Um, how much support? Because we let's be honest, in as much as the hunters are doing so much, we're not really paying so much attention to them. You know, everybody, we just hear of, oh, they recorded success, the vigilantes were in support and all of that. So what is the body language from the community level uh, if you must grow to the level you want to go? The, 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 the community has been very, very supportive. Okay. Like, uh, let me mention to you, in, uh, in Ilife, Oni of Ife is one of our patrons. Okay. I visited him this September. That day, after I gave him his patronship award and what he had been doing for us, he called all the KBSs in Osho State that they must embrace this organization. And he gave me a letter. I went to see Atauja of Oshobo. And he did the same thing to all the people under his emirate. And uh, to the glory of God, just last week, I was with a Shewo of Bono. He called all the council chief that this is a golden opportunity for uh, community safety. So, in fairness, the, the, to the glory of God, the, the community will be very supportive. You know, we can't achieve fall in a day. Yes. We can't achieve fall. And if we, they are not supportive, we can't get the adoption. You understand of the organization. I believe before any governor will call you for you to to be recognized, they will consult the head of the village head. There was a time last year that uh, a group called Amotekwe in Yoruba Nation was commissioned into law. We initiated it. I want to tell you, 
80% of Amoteku in southwest Nigeria, Yoruba, were recruited for Monta. Because I told them if this thing is being politicized, it's going to affect the, the system. And the integrity of yes, the council. Yes, and I really appreciate the governor of Ondo State, who is the chairman of uh, Governors Forum Southwest, for what he have done. And when you see the result in Amateku Am today in Ogun State, the state, the zone has gotten their relative peace in area of securing the forests and the bushes. So we, we are working with the, at least, the Obi of Onija, Onisha, mm -hmm. is one of our patrons. Emir of Zozo, that's Saria Emir. The day I visited him, he appointed his, one of his staff to be registering our member for documentation that he will support. We call the governor of uh, Kaduna State that he should embrace this organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, Erufai has been very supportive as well. Because immediately got the signal, our commander in Lere local government, Dongo, the helos is, is used today was purchased by Erufai. He gave him two helos to raid his operation in the forest. So it shows that we are being notified. Uh, sorry, we are being noticed and uh, we are welcome to the society. Okay, Larva. Okay, so um, let me bring us back to the FCT. I understand that um, recently the minister said he was going to cooperate Hunter. Hunter into the security apparatus of the FCT. I think uh, owing to the success of the um, university abduction. So tell us about that. Uh, let me use this opportunity to thank uh, the Honorable Minister of FCT mm -hmm. for believing in us. And uh, in order, and also his love for the FCT populace to reposition and deepen the level of security in the state. Even before the official pronouncement, the VC of uh, Abuja University has uh, given us uh, 60 officers uh, a primary letter to our people, UNTA in Bagualada area as a domestic security to the university. So it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, support that we must appreciate. As I'm talking to you now, I will be in the bullshit latest on Sunday by model I'm meeting the VC of uh, Jigawa uh, University. He also employed 75 hunter last month mm. to be guided the university. So they, I, I, I believe you have to work for you to be uh, noticed. And uh, I appreciate the, the authority for recognizing giving, uh, your, the, for the uh, recognition they are giving us now. Now would you say when, um, because this university or now that you um, that your personnel are, uh, are getting, talking about the employment, that's a new one. Um, would you say that will also help fight cultism in schools? Definitely. Okay. I was just told you that, that uh, two days ago, Ben Ayade, the governor of Cross River, honored our organization with a brand new 2014 care. And commander called me before I entered the studio now that uh, he lost my calm either today or tomorrow. What led to that? There is a community that whenever they are doing end of the year, they used to kill and kidnap every year. It was done last month, and there was a zero tolerance to insecurity. No single life was lost. The governor came there. He didn't use police. He didn't use it. He only used purely hunter. But I'm talking about universities. That was what I'm saying. Okay. That was some same man. Do you know there was no loss of life? Okay, the that was is inside the school. Yes. Okay, okay. Now the University of Calabar has recruited again through our command there, 46 hunter. And we are resuming by January because of what happened last month when they were doing it in the university. So do you begin you now know that uh, all the university in the country it's like if they are Communicate to one another. 
they are beginning to look for elsewhere how their university can be saved. And in addition, just last month, I signed an MOU with Nigeria Parent Association, National Union of Parent Association, Popaito in Nigeria, that UNTA should be the one saving their guiding their schools. Mm -hmm. I signed the MOU with them. Okay. In in this Abuja, myself, the consultant, and uh, the president of the Parent Teacher Association in Nigeria. Okay, so we're winding down gradually. Can you give us? or rather give Nigerians some security tips because you know the nitty gritty in the forest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so give Nigerians some security tips, especially this period. You know it's the end of the year. What should uh, people will be traveling to their communities a lot. So I used to anywhere I have opportunity like this, you know, they say security is everybody. Yes, mm. it's everybody's business. We have to be very, very conscious, especially during this uh, first period. When you are traveling and you notice that uh, there is no incoming motor vehicles, you have to park and study okay. what is happening. Because there is no way you are moving on federal road. Mm. Definitely, if you drive for five minutes, you must see an incoming motor. Mm. If you notice that, make sure that uh, something dangerous is happening in your front. And uh, we... We Nigerian, we like to show force mm. whenever we get to their village during Christmas or New Year. Where you supposed to spend 10 naira, you want to show. Let me say, okay, I've arrived on that naira. Me that you want to impress, you don't know the job. Maybe I'm one of the teleguarded person assigned to you. From there, we know your soul. And when you are doing things, I'm not saying you, you need to be secretive enough to know, to guide what you are doing. Because it is when I know that you work in NPC, you work this, you see the, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we should put all these things in the, into consideration. And also our children, because we all know what is happening in Nigeria now, any other age, you have to let them, anytime you are sending them out, let them be under the custody of one of their brother or their sister. Okay. Because uh, the love of money is growing every day. Laraba, you have a final question. Yes, okay, final, go ahead. Final question. Okay, so talking about um, selecting your members, I would like to ask: Do you allow women into the council, or is it just a men's affair? Uh, I like that question. There is this thing that uh, whatever a man can do, a woman, woman can do better. It might not be true in all cases, okay. but let me give it to you. Okay. Our commander in. Uh, River State is a woman. The overall person in River State, that state commander. The overall state commander in Adamawa, maybe you are be hearing of uh, Aisha. You are be hearing of Aisha Bakuri. Okay. He's our member. He is a special advisor on security to the governor of Bono right now. And he's also a commander. Is she a hunter? Yes. Okay. Traditional hunter. Wow. Interesting. Yes. He keep Boko Haram. He out for Boko Haram. This is Adama Wada you normally show on the network. Mm. Aisha Bakuri. He's our commander. I think I've seen, I've seen a picture. Yes. Mm. He said, because I'll show you after the program. He's our member. And our commander in Casina is also a woman. So we need, even, let me tell you, women can even get more information better than men. Because we have our ways. Yes. <laughs> Which is best looking. We to always you. have our ways. <laughs> anyway, um, just before I let you go, just to delve into your personal life, um, but very briefly, how long have you been a hunter before you decided to rebrand the whole skin? Uh, I was born into it. Mm. I can't because the my 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 great grandfather was a good hunter. And the, even the person that gave back to my mom is also a great hunter. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was in the village, when you were looking at reading my CV, you know, I'm a practical, uh, as in, I grew up in the village. My primary school, my secondary school, all, it's only that my university that I went out of my state. In short, I can tell you before I travel out of Ekiti, I'm close to 30 years. 
As a hunter? Yes, uh, that's what I do. Even though when I come back from university, I hunt. Wow. Anytime we are on holiday. There was a time UI was a nine month, uh, there was this uh, normal house strike. Mm. I came back to village to come and do my farm work and I was hunting. So I can't say this is the, I can say from bed. Mm. And uh, you should know that uh, when you are being born into something, it will be it will be inside you. It's part of our culture. We can't take it away that from who we are as a people. Thank you so much, Commander General. Yeah. We must commend your efforts. This Thank is you. really brave. And we pray that God will continue to give you the wisdom Amen. with your personnel yeah. um, so that you will be able to fight crime. Amen. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. Laraba. Thank you for your insight. No, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Madam Laraba. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, so we've been looking at the role of hunters in combating crime in Nigeria. <clears throat> We've been talking with the Commander General Nigerian Hunter Council. Of course, security is everybody's business. It's a collective responsibility. But let us try, you know, ir irrespective of where we are, to give them the necessary support they deserve. That's Platform. I'm Ruth Aguele. Bye. <laughs>